Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Amy and in today's video I will be doing a foundation review. Yes, you heard it right, a foundation review. Your girl Huda just launched a new foundation primer and actually a new brush and I'll be trying them out today and telling you guys my honest opinion about these products. So before you run out to get these products, pump your brakes because I'll be doing a wear test and I'll be giving you guys every single detail that you need to know about this foundation. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload. And yeah, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button so you have more videos like this coming your way. And I promise this is going to be the one review that you need to see before you get this foundation because I'll keep it 100 with you. I bought this with my heart on coins. So I picked up two of the foundations and these are the last two shades in the line. And this is Ganache, which is 560R and also Lava Cake, which is 590R. And I believe the R actually just stands for red. And the foundation, these are the details on the foundation. It claims to be a lightweight foundation that glides on easily providing customizable coverage with a natural looking skin like finish. That sounds like something I would like because you guys know I, I'm not into like a super, super heavy coverage foundation. I didn't care for her last foundation at all. It was so fragrant, so highly scented. Oh my God, I couldn't do it. And it was super, super thick. And I'm just not a big fan of full coverage foundations. Like extremely full coverage foundations is just not what I enjoy, okay? Um, it says it's, this is fragrance free, mm, okay that's a big plus because that last foundation was super fragrance it says it was it's fragrance free transfer proof hooter darling that's a big claim to make transfer proof not even resistant but proof so you know what we're going to do i'm going to put this foundation to the test i'll be going out today and i'm going to be wearing my mask let's see did she just put this out there though transfer proof just because of the fact that we are wearing masks and people are going to jump onto it well, anyways, we'll put that onto the, we'll put that onto test, okay? It says it's waterproof. Honey, take me swimming all day, okay? It says it's waterproof, humidity, and sweat-resistant formula melts into the skin for a natural filtered finish. Hmm. Whatever you prefer, full or light coverage, this versatile formula will let you be the master of your complexion. So basically, it's a customizable cover coverage, okay? Swipe it on, set it, and forget it for the rest of the day. Well, Hooter, those are some big claims to make. And baby girl, you know we're going to put her to the test, darling. And this foundation, you guys, retails for $39. US and it has 0.44 ounces. That's quite expensive. Most foundations are one ounce. So for $39 for um, 0.44 ounces, hmm. Now I wouldn't say expensive, but I would definitely say that it's less than what you would get in a normal foundation bottle if you were to use a liquid foundation. So this is the um, this is the primer that she launched, and the primer is actually like a clear primer. It looks very jelly. It looks very interesting, um, and I am kind of I'm I'm really excited to actually try this because. I have never, I don't think I have ever seen any primer that looks like this. So this is quite interesting. And the primer actually retails for $33 and it is actually 1.18 fluid ounces, which that is not bad at all for a primer. And this primer is claiming to be a hydrating primer. And you guys know I love a hydrating primer. So, so I'm going to go ahead and pump this primer out. Okay. This is what the formula, oh, it looks, it feels very watery. Like you see the you see the texture is very watery. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and actually just apply it on my face. Um, this kind of reminds me of like a hand sanitizer, but it doesn't have like it's not like not the feel of it. Okay, do not the 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 scent or anything. It actually doesn't have any scent, really. Um, but the formula reminds me of a hand sanitizer, just not with the alcohol. This feels like water on my skin. It has a little bit of grip, like a little bit of tacky finish to it, which is nice. But, hmm, I like that. 
But you know, primers are kind of hard to judge from just the first time of wearing it. Like you kind of have to wear it for the day. I will be doing a wear test so you guys can definitely like, you know, see what this is going to look like. Okay, so now let's go ahead and swatch these shades and see. So this is 460 Ganache, which is the second to last shade that she, can, that she has, okay. So this is the 460 Ganache, and as you guys can see, it does have a little bit of a red undertone, um, but it does claim to be a red undertone, okay? So let's see what this one is doing. This one is the Lava Cake, which is 490. Ooh, Lava Cake is dark, dark. Ooh, Lava Cake is really dark. She's very chocolate. That's a huge jump though from this one to this one. I feel like I wanted like a middle tone, which is gonna be like a little bit more on the neutral side. Um, hmm. So I might be wearing this one. I might, I'm gonna try and wear this one out and see what I'm going to get from that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my face because I think the lava cake might be way too dark for me, but let's see what this one. Oh, this one looks nice. Can you guys see? You can barely even see it like this one looks really really nice on my skin the lava cake is definitely going to be way too dark for my skin um, which is this one right here okay let's go ahead and apply it on it glides on so nicely can you guys see it glides on super super nicely Okay, so on this side of my face, I have no foundation, and on this side of my face, I definitely do have foundation. So let's go ahead and see what this is going to do. The brush feels good. I like that the brush is very, very dense, so it doesn't have any like space in between, so it's not going to leave streaks on your face. I'm gonna take that brush and just buff this out. Okay, so look, so this is the side that has the foundation. It looks really, really good. Um, I know the light is making it a little red, but it looks really good on my skin. It looks very natural. It's not, it's not very, very full coverage at all. And this is the side that doesn't have any foundation. So this is the side with foundation and no foundation. And it looks pretty good. If you're going for a very natural finish, this is quite nice for a very natural finish, you know? It looks very, very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over my face. So let's go ahead and add more product and see if this is actually buildable, like it's claiming to be. Oh, that looks nice. It's definitely very weightless. Like, that claim is definitely true. It's very, very weightless. If you try the Huda foundation, the old one, <laughs> that stuff was caked on. That was very, 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 very heavy. Um, I was not a big fan at all. But this... Wow, this looks nice. I really like it. Um, I didn't check if it actually has SPF. So let's see if there's any SPF in this. There is no SPF at all. Yeah, there's no SPF in it. The brush actually retails for $33, I believe. And because you're getting both sides of the brush, I don't think that's actually a bad price at all. Um, and the brush buffed this out very, very nicely. I am definitely liking this. I, I can dig this finish. This is a really beautiful finish. It's just a little, 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 little tiny red, but you know, that's not something that is new with foundations. I think she has 39 shades. I believe she can definitely expand on her shade range. Um, kind of have a little bit more in between shades for those darker tones, but you know, most brands can definitely do with that too. Um, so I don't mind this at all. This is something that I could just wear by itself and just leave the house and not even, 
it literally just makes my skin very flawless and it's not heavy like it's not caked on I love it I love that so much about it so I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish my face and when I come back we're gonna talk more about this product also okay okay you guys and here is the final look and I listen I am kind of liking this okay let me tell you a couple of things a couple of observations that I have okay like I said, size is pretty damn small. It's not up to one ounce if you care. Size does matter over here. Child, I say size do matter over here, okay? I don't know about y'all, but size matter over here, okay? Because listen, I'm spending my coins. I need her to give me an ounce or even more, okay? So this is definitely a bit smaller than her normal foundation or just like a normal foundation. Most foundations are just one ounce, okay? It doesn't have SPF if you're someone who cares about having SPF in your product. But if you're someone who actually is allergic to SPF, this is going to be an amazing product for you, okay? I like a more light, medium coverage foundation. I'm not a full coverage extreme girl. I don't think I need it. Not that my skin is amazing, but that's just not something I enjoy, okay? So if you're someone who enjoys a super full coverage, like the old Huda foundation, this might not be for you. But honey, she made me one because I didn't like the old one and I am absolutely loving this new formulation because I don't like heavy foundation. I don't. I seriously don't. I like my concealer to be full coverage, but I don't like my foundation to be full coverage, okay? So if you're someone looking for an extremely full coverage foundation, hiding your whole entire life and existence and your, your sins from last year and this year, this is not for you, okay? This is just going to hide your sins from this morning, pretty much, and probably last night, okay? But not from last year, right? Okay, um, the primer, I will definitely say that the primer feels nice, feels more very watery. I wouldn't say it's oily when it says hydration. Hydration and oil is two different things, sisters, okay? Um, hydration is just more water on the face. When I apply the foundation, it pretty much felt like water on my face. It absorbed pretty, 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 pretty quickly. Like I said, the texture almost feels like a, um, like a hand sanitizer in a good way, okay? Don't come for me. Hand sanitizer, but in a good way. That's just the texture, okay? Um, the brush, I absolutely did like the brush. Now, I would try the foundation with a different brush and tell you girls, if you really need to buy the brush, I don't think you have to get out of your way to buy the brush, but if you're in the market for a, a good foundation brush, I will recommend this because it does come with two sides. You can use this side to apply the concealer. I actually tried it and I love it. So I will recommend the brush, okay? Now, if that's if you are in the market for a brush, okay? And you don't mind spending $33 on a brush, right? If you do mind, probably not for you, okay? I don't recommend using this product with a beauty blender because I feel like beauty blender and foundation sticks just don't get along. Um, it will probably just eat your product. So definitely use a brush, use the Huda brush or just use any other brush that you have currently at home. Not the flat brushes, like the old foundation flat brushes. Use something that is more dense, just like this, to be able to just go ahead and buff it into the skin, okay? But for right now, we're going to put Huda to the test. Mama Huda or Sister Huda, you made the claims that you're waterproof, sweat proof. Is this sweat proof? This is no, she said sweat resistant, humidity resistant, waterproof, and transfer proof. We are in the coronavirus season, honey. I am going to be wearing this foundation out, sis. And I will come back and tell you girls if Kuda is just making these claims just because, or does she really mean it? Okay? Well. I will put this to the test. I'll come back. I'll let you guys know what I think. Right now, the time is 3.30 p.m. I'm gonna be going out, and when I come back, I'll tell you guys exactly, I said to guys, I'll tell you guys exactly what I think and exactly what my observations are if this is totally transfer proof. So far, so far, is it is Amy approved. If you're in for the market, if you're in for a lightweight foundation, light to medium coverage she call it a customizable build buildable coverage but i don't think that means extremely full that means your skin but better then i would definitely recommend this she looks absolutely stunning i'm gonna come closer for you guys so you can see 
I absolutely love her. She is gorgeous. She is giving me flawless skin, but not heavy and cakey because cake is expired. That's 2006, girlfriend. We're not caking over here, okay? We slain. We slain, sis. I feel like even if you're oily, you could still wear this foundation. Just make sure that you set her nicely. I don't think she's extremely oily, but she does require you to set her with a powder. Now, if you're someone who is drier skin, you could still wear her. You could still wear her and just, you know, make sure you prep your skin nicely because foundation is all about the base. How are you prepping your skin? People just think that you can just wake up from your bed, from your sleep and just come and wear the foundation and it's gonna do the magic. That's not how it works, child. Girlfriend, you might need to hydrate. You might need to wash. You might need to tone. A little, do, do a little something, something, a little serum here. Just make sure you moisturize that skin nicely before you wear any foundation. But I've been ranting too damn much, okay? I need to get up, get ready, and get out of this house. And when I come back, we will discuss this foundation even more. And I'll tell you guys what my observations are if Huda is giving you the facts. Because Amy is definitely going to give you the facts. Okay? Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Mm. Okay, you guys, and right now it is 10.58, so 11 p.m. I left this house at 3.30, so that's been almost six hours. No, six, six hours, 30 minutes. So that's been almost about seven hours. Let's just say approximately seven hours because before I finish filming this video, it's going to be seven hours. So it's been seven hours long. And I just want to, I just want to give this foundation a round of applause because it held up pretty nicely for seven hours. I will show you guys um, what my mask looked like because it did claim that it was transfer proof. Now, I told you, Huda, that's a very big claim to make for a foundation to be transfer proof, okay? But I'll give it to you though. I'll give you some. So let me explain to you guys why I said what I said, right? So this is a foundation that I wore yesterday and this is the Rare Beauty foundation. I wore this foundation yesterday and as you can see, it did wipe off quite a bit, right? Now, this is the mask I wore today, okay? It's still wiped off, but not as bad as this one. Can you guys see? Yeah, not as bad as this one. So I wouldn't say it's transfer proof, but it's quite long lasting. Okay. It's, it's in between transfer proof, transfer resistant would still transfer just not as bad as the other foundations. Okay. That's how, that's what I will put it and how I will put it. Right. Um, I actually was in a convertible today. My eyes were crying because I, because it was too windy outside, but I cannot see any of the drip water on my face, which means that this foundation did held up pretty well and probably is waterproof because I actually tissued my face, tissued the face down with, um, to pat the, the, my tears off and it still did not come off surprisingly. Right. Um, I'll show you what came off though. Okay. So right here on my nose area, right there it wipes off a little bit because that's where the mask was sitting right so it kind of moved a little bit so that's why i say this foundation must not be that much transfer proof right now i'm gonna give it something okay let's let's talk about this let's talk about the mask areas first right here on my cheek areas is where my mask move the most okay and on any mask and any foundation that i wear normally okay i can tell that it rubs off on my cheek area a lot and today it's actually not rubbing off like to the point I will see the lines on my cheek no it did held up quite quite nicely I should say that right um, my smile lines are not as pronounced not as bad as most foundations would do right I can't get rid of my my smile lines it's part of me it's normal I'm used to it it doesn't bother me right it's just a tiny bit of it showing, if you guys can see. You see? Right there. Okay? Um, oils are picking up around my nose area, just around right there. Okay? Oils are also picking up on my forehead, but I don't mind this because I like to see my natural oils break through into the foundation because I just feel like it gives the skin that natural glow. Now, if you're extremely oily, just set your face nicely. 
that's what I will say and probably use a primer that is not as hydrating this primer does claim it's hydrating but it doesn't have oil so you can still wear it the primer I have to keep wearing for a while to be able to tell if I really love it I have to mix it with other foundations also I like to try a primer for a longer period of time but the foundation did definitely held up pretty pretty nicely I am very surprised but if you look very closely you could tell that I just have the oils breaking through right here a little bit on my forehead and that's about it okay um, so yeah so if you're in the market for a new foundation okay sis if you're in the market for a new foundation you're looking for something very lightweight something that is going to be skin like finish you love a light to medium coverage something easy something everyday wear this is going to be the foundation for you so this is going to be perfect for your everyday foundation for sure because it's going to hold up quite nicely it's not going to feel heavy or cakey on the skin and i do like that about it a lot okay i could still wear this foundation out like as my fancy foundation if i want to i'll probably just build on it a little bit more because it does make my skin look really 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 good okay now you know what i'm gonna do now let's go ahead and flash test this foundation Ooh, are y'all ready let's see if we have any flashback let's see It looks quite nice with the with the flash it doesn't have any flashback as you can see skin still matches my neck Wow it looks good it looks really really good I'm pretty impressed I'm definitely impressed okay cool so anyways yeah so that is it I'm tired you could tell my energy is kind of like mm, 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 just going down but that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoy this I will give this foundation a 9 over 10 just because of how, how easy and how long lasting it has been and how flawless it makes my skin look and how weightless and just like effortless it looks on my skin okay so um, this is definitely Amy approve we stamp her okay so thank you guys so much for watching um, and don't forget to let me know if you will be picking this up have you tried this foundation give me the tea tell me what you guys think and what you guys how you guys feel about it I would love to see and hear your opinions also um, so yeah let me know what you guys think about this foundation leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload and don't also forget to follow me on Instagram at Amy Cisse underscore just like my YouTube name just with an underscore okay and as always I just want to say thank you all so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video Mwah.